Before the arrival of Columbus to the New World, estimated that between 10 to 100 million people once lived in lands that would soon be renamed North and South America. These people belonged to over 100 different groups that spoke different languages and adapted to their environments in many different ways. Within 100 years, Europeans would unknowingly release deadly viruses such as smallpox and yellow fever into an environment in which the native people had no immunity. Most communities that came into contact with Europeans saw anywhere from half to all of their people die in the first two years of contact. Whatever the exact number was, the original Native Americans had been so wrapped up in layers of myths and legends and stereotypes that we often forget that they were real people with real issues like everyone else who's ever walked on this planet. The indigenous people of the Americas are called many things to many people. Most American Indians refer to themselves by their tribal name, which often translates into the people of or the first people or something along that line. Some names are given to them by outsiders, such as the Sioux, which literally means enemy, and Eskimo, which is translated into eater of raw meat. To the Europeans, they were Indians, a name that stuck because Columbus got just a little bit confused when he first landed here in 1492. He thought he was in the Indies, which was part of Asia. Other names for the indigenous people of the Americas are Native Americans, Amera Indians, American Indians, First Nations, the First People, maybe a few others. To keep things simple, we'll use Native Americans or Indians. But don't be Columbus and confuse them with the people who actually came from India. So what we know is that we don't know how many people once lived here or how many tribes, and we are still confused about what to even call these indigenous groups. But at least we know how they got to the Americas, right? Wrong. The most accepted theory is the one called the land bridge. Okay? At one time, the, uh, um, pardon me, at one time, Scientists believed that the Earth had large sheets of ice covering over much of the Earth. Water levels in the ocean would have dropped whenever these large forms of ice were formed. This is, would have caused a very large strip of land or a land bridge to appear. And here we can see this is the Bering Strait in this area right here. This water, as this large sheet had formed, froze up and it exposed the land underneath. This is what it would have looked like without, with the ice frozen and the land bridge as you can see it. Now, this is a theory. The difference between a theory and a fact is this. A fact is something that we know to exist or we know that it happened. A theory is just one possible explanation for something. Now, through this theory, it is believed that nomads or people who traveled searching for food would cr had crossed this land coming from Siberia. They were hunting for large animals like the woolly mammoth or deer or antelope, something of a large quantity. Uh, they ate these, the meat of these animals, uh, they used the fur, the skins, anything and everything was used on these animals because they didn't want to waste any resources that they had made available to them. Not everyone agrees with this idea that mankind got here by chasing after large animals. Some people think that native people may have traveled by a boat along the coast of Asia and arrived in North America this way, perhaps coming from, uh, from Asia up to, China, or up to Alaska and then down the coastline. Most scientists, however, do not believe that the boat theory was possible. We're not ruling it out, but the majority of scientists believe that it's probably not the case. Now, as the climate over thousands of years began to get warmer and warmer, this ice that uh, had uh, been formed in this area began to melt. And as we all know, as ice melts, it begins to water forms, and we get puddles and we get flooding. The land bridge was no longer exposed. Okay, the ocean levels began to rise, causing the water to cover the land bridge. 
This stopped the migration of people from Asia to North America. Okay? But the amazing thing is, is they continued over thousands upon thousands of years, they continued to migrate down into South America, all throughout North America, and that is quite possible how mankind got to North and South.